Good morning, my name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, October 7, 2013. If you're listening to our broadcast and wish to see it, uh, please go to www.cadex.com on the internet. U.S. government shutdown continues in effect. Uh, neither side seems willing to budge one inch. Republicans have now officially tied the budget shutdown to the debt limit increase, which is coming up in about one week. A typhoon hit southeast China this morning with about 100 mile an hour winds. It's Typhoon Fitao, F-I-T-O-W, stuck Fujian province. It uh, has caused the evacuation of about 600,000 people and has caused the uh, return of, listen to this number, 67,000 fishing boats back to port. About 27 flights in and out of Wenzhou Airport in Zhejiang City were canceled yesterday. According to Xinhua uh, News Agency, torrential rain uh, with rainfall of up to about uh, 8 inches in some part driven by the 100 mile an hour winds caused those cancellations. Well, we now have a name. It's been reported now that uh, SAC uh, Capital has apparently been talking to uh, Pine River. Pine River is a uh, insurance link securities company uh, similar to SAC RE. SAC Capital is talking to Pine River uh, about possibly buying out the uh, stake that Stephen Cohen's company owns in SAC RE. Uh, we reported on Friday that SAC is apparently in talks with people, uh, but today a name was released. Of course, SAC Capital is trying to divest itself of uh, various interests so it can uh, transform itself into a so-called private office handling only the Cohen's money. Arthur J. Gallagher, the big uh, U.S.-based broker in Atasca, Illinois, is going to buy the leading Peruvian reinsurance broker, JAO and Partners. Uh, JAO is a Latin American facultative broker. It's uh, the fifth largest reinsurance broker in Peru. It was founded by uh, Jose Antonio Osterling about uh, six years ago, who was formerly the head of Aon Re in Peru. The loss toll for the insurance industry for the terrorist attack in Nairobi's Westgate Shopping Center continues to increase. According to Inside Fact magazine, it's up to about $150 million. Uh, business interruption claims are going to push that number a little bit higher, apparently, as the largest terrorism loss since the 2010 Bangkok riots. Initial indications suggested that structural damage to the shopping center itself would be fairly limited, about $75 million. Uh, the business interruption claims are beginning to come in. That's uh, quite a bit of uh, business. Well, then, of course, uh, the mall is going to be shut down for many, many, many months into the future. Dutch uh, authorities are scrambling right now. Helicopters and the Dutch Coast Guard and divers searching for three sailors missing in the North Sea. Their ship uh, sank following a collision with a fishing trawler earlier today. The accident happened when the 100-foot-long uh, ship Maria which is deployed to guard an oil drilling platform about 12 miles off the Dutch coast, collided with a fishing trawler. A uh, spokesman uh, said that the uh, observers on the fishing trawler saw five crew members uh, on the bridge of the sinking ship, all wearing life jackets. Uh, two were rescued, but three are still missing. Well, there must be considerable discussions going on at Tower Insurance Group. It now seems as if they have, in fact, approached private equity firms about raising capital to prop up its balance sheet. Now, you'll remember that for some time, uh, probably in the last two weeks, we've been reporting that Tower was interested in selling itself. Then uh, in midweek last week, we saw that they had acquired reinsurance to back up their balance sheet. Now, apparently, they're in discussion with Blackstone, KKR, and Warburg Pink, as according to the Wall Street Journal, in order to uh, get an infusion of cash. They may not be for sale. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. They're due to unveil their second quarter earnings this week, two months late, of course. The ongoing diplomatic efforts uh, to normalize American and Iranian relations uh, have attracted the attention of the Indian insurance market. They're watching it very closely. Any kind of favorable outcome will be very positive for them. India is a big importer of Iranian oil. Uh, and in India, general insurance companies are reluctant to provide any insurance cover. Uh, to refiners processing Iranian crude due to the sanctions because they can't get reinsurance. The Indian government has made a, uh, albeit limited, reinsurance facility available. However, it's not quite enough at all to be able to uh, thwart the sanctions effect. In Washington, D.C., on Sunday uh, in the evening, 
A contractor in the uh, DC Metro, the subway, was killed and another was critically injured after a tunnel explosion. Um, the uh, system has experienced power outages this morning. If you've ever lived in Washington, you know that uh, this probably is causing a uh, significant amount of consternation. And in Mexico, in Chihuahua State yesterday, an out-of-control monster truck shot into the crowd of spectators, killing eight people and injuring about 80. The driver was detained on suspicion of manslaughter, and officials are investigating possible safety violations. Uh, the driver apparently appeared to lose control of the truck after leaping over cars it was crushing during a demonstration at the Extreme Aero Show. Video taken uh, by spectators shows the truck making initial pass over two cars and then makes a second pass at a higher speed coming down sharply nose first, bouncing violently before piling straight into the crowd and uh, which stood directly in the path of the monster truck unprotected by any wall or barrier. Wow. Is that contributory negligence or not? I don't know. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.